welcome everyone. Uh, my name is Juan Gracia. I'm the project manager of uh, Project Faster. And uh, well, with today's presentation, we want to give you a brief description of our project and also introduce the recruitment process that uh, will take place during this month. So uh, Project Faster began uh, last uh, academic year by four students of their own 16 who wanted to create a new student project on campus rather than joining an already existing one with the idea of learning through all the steps of a space project. So uh, the idea of our project from the beginning was to adapt one of the existing projects on, the cam on campus that was Project Aster into a new use. We saw that the, the Project Aster was using a really, really cool um, um, a platform and that it could be adapted into different uses. So what we are gonna, what we are doing is adapting it for its use during parabolic flights. Parabolic flights, if in case you don't know, are a kind of experimental flights in which a plane acquires certain seconds of microgravity, depending on the plane that you use, you can reach up to 25, 30 seconds of microgravity. Um, so uh, it's the newest project on the space campus and we mark from the beginning three uh, main objectives. First of all, adapting the platform for its use during parabolic flights, then validating that the reaction wheels of the platform can actually maneuver the, the platform during this microgravity phase. And then the problem with certain parabolic flights is that the microgravity achieved by the plane is not that much stable compared with the microgravity that you achieve during, for example, uh, an experiment in a drop tower or obviously the microgravity achieved at the International Space Station. So that the actual uh, attitude control system could improve the microgravity and make a rather stable microgravity for the payload that will be flying inside our platform. So, uh, this is the uh, picture of the actual first prototype that we got. From the very beginning, we knew that we wanted to make a, as much open source as possible a project so that uh, when we finish, everyone could access to it. And in order to do so, we decided that our platform uh, shall be 3D printed. So we contacted the several companies in the 3D printing world. One of them was uh, the provider of the new Mark Forge printer that we have on campus. And they, we agreed with themselves that we're, they were going to prototype for us our platform. So uh, we got this first prototype that is a small scale uh, cube, 12 millimeter, uh, 120 millimeter side that has been printed uh, using carbon fiber reinforced plastic. It's a material from the brand itself that is called Onyx and that he, it has really, really nice mechanical properties. Uh, however, the final design will be scaled up and we are uh, aiming to get a 200 uh, millimeters side platform. And then the rotor design uh, is already done and it will be manufactured by a German company called the uh, Schometry. So the project status, as I said, uh, the project began in September 2020. And uh, right now we are finalizing the documentation of the preliminary review that uh, it will be submitted before mid-September. And we are aiming for passing the PDR, the preliminary uh, design review by the end of September. But as I said, we are already testing with the uh, first uh, prototype. So we are aiming to freeze the design of our project by the end of the year. And in the meantime, keep on testing because we are getting electrical components already and 
hopefully we will uh, integrate during this academic year and we will perform also some parabolic flights in Kiruna with a, with a single engine uh, plane. So uh, now we go to the who we are in the team. The team is composed by six uh, students of the round 16. Uh, we divided our team in uh, four departments, four main departments. Mm -hmm. I am part of the management and system engineer department. Then on the mechanical department, uh, you have uh, Minka and Rebecca that uh, if you haven't met them yet, probably tonight you will meet them. Uh, <laughs> Then on the electrical department, it's uh, his Bruno. You can see him in the bottom picture. And then on the software department, you have uh, Arnau and Stel. So uh, we, as you can see, we are only six students. This is a quite uh, different uh, project compared with huge student projects such as uh, Raven or Aptas or even Aster. If even if right now they are not that many on, on the space campus. And I always say that this is a really nice point into, into when, when you look in, in faster, because uh, since we are a small group of students, we are, uh, at the end, we are just like a group of friends that we are working together in something that we all like. So it's really, really cool. The, the atmosphere in the project is really nice. So hot topic of today, uh, we are recruiting. Uh, right now we are looking into one, maybe two persons that would be interested in helping us both in the electrical department and the project management. The idea is that uh, we are looking into someone um, not with, of course, experience is good if you have been hands in with electrical components it's nice but uh, we always said that the personal motivation and the if you want to learn it's it's always better so we will also obviously look into that during during the interviews that uh, Arna will explain you later how all the interviewing process will will take care during this month will take place during this month. So why should you look into joining Project Faster? Because, well, it's a, a project in which you're gonna be hands-on with experiment from day one. As I think I tried to explain, we are looking into someone that could help us during all the in electrical integration that uh, will take place in own lab from now on. I think it's a really, really nice opportunity for every student. And then you also must take into account that uh, we are having academic uh, outcomes, such as the possibility of applying for ISA programs, such as the Fly Your Thesis program, in which uh, you experience uh, parabolic flights using a, a Airbus A320. It's a Airbus plane in which you experience 20 to 25 seconds of microgravity during each parabola. So at the end of a parabolic flight, you are experiencing about 10 minutes of microgravity. Then as every project in the space campus, we are going to IAC in Dubai, hopefully by the end of October. And then of course, it's a great opportunity to uh, present and write some scientific publications and of course if someone is already looking it's a little bit early to look into master thesis but uh, this is a project that hopefully will continue into developing some of our master thesis so uh, well this was all i hope it was not uh, too long and that it has given you a brief idea of what uh, we are doing in project faster you can as you can see follow us in all our social medias we also have a web page that you can follow uh, and then well regarding questions obviously if you have any question you can just ask now uh, 
I think Arnau Mink and Rebecca should be today on campus, Arnau for sure. So you can also talk with them uh, in my, uh, well, I'm not going to be this month in Kiruna, but I'm going to still be working and I'll be connected. So if you have any questions regarding the project, if you want to know whatever, if you want to see the platform, just tell us, we fix whatever. Um, yeah, and I think that should be more or less all. So again, thank you so much. I uh, hope you're having a nice uh, welcome week at the Space Campus and hope to see you soon uh, in Kiruna.